Hello and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we will have a look at the Unity drop down component and we will script the little quiz you see here. Okay, without further ado, let's go for it. We will begin with an almost empty 2D scene. We only have two text elements. So let's create the drop down menu. Right click and select UI and drop down Text Mesh Pro. Let's scale it up a little, something like this. Now it's time for the configuration. Down at the bottom you can see the text on the three options. And let's write Minecraft in the first one and Fortnite in the second. And for the last one we'll go for CSGO. Let's compile and see what happens. It works like intended, so everything is fine. Now let's go for the script. Right click and create a C sharp script and we will rename that to drop down. And I think we will make a new game object called main and drop the script on that as well. Now double click on the script to open Visual Studio. We don't need the on update method. Let's delete that and the comments as well. Now we have to import the text mesh pro. It goes something like this using TM pro and semicolon. We also have to connect to the output text. So we make an public variable for that. Public text mesh pro user GUI. Let's call it output. And now let's make the function that you can access from the drop down menu. We will call that for handle input data and that takes one argument and integer and we will call that for val. And inside that handle input data we will have three if statements. And if values equals to zero, then we will set the string data to I love Minecraft. It goes to something like this output.txt equals I love Minecraft. And now we can copy the whole if statement. Just a second, we have an error. And again, we can copy the whole if statement. And in the second if statement, we'll change the text to I love Fortnite. And in the last, we'll do it to I love CSGO. And now we change the value to 0, 1, and 2. The handle input data also have to be public. Back in Unity, we have to drop the main game object down to the drop down. Select drop down and handle input data. And that's actually it. Let's have a test. Yes, it works as intended. And we are done for today. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I will upload new content every day. So see you tomorrow for another Unity tutorial and have fun.